to tonight's recap of Dancing with the Stars, All Stars. All right, so the troupe started off the show with a couple guest dancers to some Michael Jackson song and The Way You Make Me Feel. Yay! All of the dancing by the troupe was pretty good tonight. Like, in the commercial intermissions, it was pretty good. So each couple is going to be dancing two different dances. One, the Time Waster dance from last week that they picked out. Pretty much. And one uh, Michael Jackson hit from the album Bad. Yeah, so this is the semi-finals. It's pretty serious. <laughs> <laughs> but on the whole, the dancing tonight was a little underwhelming. Just like Preparation H. On the whole, it's okay. That's not the line. <laughs> All right. But anyway, Melissa and Tony started off the evening with a caveman hustle. Tony had a back injury, but he's okay now. He got a so bunch he, of shots. He got clearance to dance. It was kind of dinosaur in a swamp for me. Yeah. Decent lifts, but basically yabba dabba don't. I think they should have ignored the caveman thing a little bit and done some more hustle. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so they got a 27.5 for their first dance, but their second dance was an Argentine tango. And uh, it really was to Dirty Diana. I'm British, you know. Okay. All right. I thought there was a lot of really good content. I really like the choreography, but she wasn't hitting it hard. She was too soft. It wasn't sharp. She needed a little Viagra for her tango. <laughs> they got a 30, though. I mean, the lifts were fantastic. Yeah. And she's very flexible. She's very thin, too. This is the thinnest I've ever seen her. But I felt like there was no oomph behind her movements. All right. So they got a 57.5 for the night. Sean and Derek's up next with their Knight Rider Bangra. What? I loved it. They bangered it. Yeah. You know, I love this almost as much as I love their Lion King from last week. It was Bangram style. <laughs> Can I say Bangra, you know, some other iconic way? I don't think so. No, so get out the defibrillator, Patty, pals. Blah, blah, blah. Because the audience was grabbing their chest. They well, were clutching their hearts. So were the judges because they got a perfect 30. All right, so their second dance was the Argentine tango to bad. But it wasn't bad. It was fabulous. Yes, I thought... Ow. <laughs> Recap, Ow! <laughs> Sorry. You could really tell that hers was a lot sharper than Melissa's since it yeah. was, like, right after... Right. And they only got a 29. Because Carrie Ann's jealous. Yeah, I thought this one was awesome. So they got a 59. Ow. Homer says he don't like that Carrie Ann. No. Carrie Ann, you suck. All right, All right, next up, Apollo and Karina. And they started off with a big top jazz number. The floor was really slippery. Somebody needed a shoe brush. <laughs> Either that, or they should have come around with those basketball mops, you know, like in between when they're all sweaty. Oh, I know. <laughs> Somebody must have been drooling oh. in the front row. There were a couple slips in there. Yeah, well, and it wasn't very smooth. It was kind of herky-jerky, which was kind of annoying to me. But I really like the style of it. <laughs> Homer, it's not cool. Come on, Homer, come up here. Everyone I love wants you, to see you, but it's not cool. So they got a 27. Please sit down. Their second dance was a Roomba to Man in the Mirror. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He did a good job. Now I said good, but the judges were all like, that was great. Here was a 30. Yeah, I don't know if that was worthy of a 30. I but... don't think so either. They ended up with a 57 for the night. Now let's talk about Emmett and Cheryl. All right. They started off with an espionage Lindy hop, which was kind of out of sync. Most of the time. Well, not most of the time, but there were some parts where it was pretty clear that he was not with her. But I thought it was like a fun concept, and I liked the choreography. I thought it was kind of a hot mess, but it was interesting. All right, well, they as got... As interesting as this. <laughs> they got a 27 for their first dance. All right, their second dance was a tango to Leave Me Alone. We want to clarify here, a tango, not an Argentine tango. Correct. So they had to stay and hold the whole time. Right. Homer. <laughs> that really hurts. Okay. It was so, so. And they got a 27 for that. I mean, what can you say? Kim, stop calling me. He says he doesn't like you talking about Carrie Ann like that. Well, I will. She's anyway. not just a beach. She's a real beach. <laughs> he says you're not listening. So they got... Did you say they got a 27? Yeah. Okay, and they got a 54 for the night. Which means they're in the bottom. 
All right, so Kelly and Val, they had a surfer flamenco, and I thought it was a good try. They put on a good performance. I have to agree with Kellyanne on this, though. Carrie Ann? Sorry. I'm <laughs> flawed. My legs are raw now. Carrie Ann. You little bad kitty. <laughs> <laughs> they did a lot of Paso. Yeah, they did. I noticed that. A lot of Paso. Not as much flamenco. You know what, though? The surfer segment made up for it. It was totally innovative, and it I loved fun. it. It was so singing in the rain. I really liked it. Yeah. Singing in the rain, surfer style. Maybe because they were in water. But... What the hell was going on with the gladiator boots, though? I didn't. Did her see little the pet there. dog pee on her shoes in her dressing room, and that was the only pair that were available? <laughs> I don't know. But they got a twenty-five point five. They were robbed. Were they? I I think Me, so. I think it was a little low, but whatever. Yeah. Then their second dance was a rumba to I Can't Stop Loving You. I just can't stop. It was sex A. Sex B, sex C, sex D, sex Z. Okay. <laughs> and the judges totally robbed them. 28.5. I thought that was an appropriate score. Kelly, you were clipping your moves. She was. Come on. <laughs> really? Let's be honest. Come on. So 28.5 for that total of 54, which means they're tied for Stinker at the bottom. I think they're in trouble. And I think Emmett's in trouble. I think it's going to be a Sean and Derek, Melissa and Tony, Apollo and Karina finale. Well, it is a double, double elimination tomorrow, so we'll see. But that's not the fun part. The fun part is Paula Abdul. Paula! <laughs> And she's not going to have a stick of butter. Wrong Paula. This is the Paula you, everyone knows and loves. <laughs> That's tomorrow. All right. Till then, much love. love.